so uh, just a few things here. Um, it's actually been a few days since I played this game, and during this time, I have been editing these videos. And uh, actually, there's not much editing, because this, this is not a type of game that requires a lot of editing. So, hooray for that! But uh, the point is, I've been watching my playthrough up to this point, and I have a few theories. Now, I haven't read any plot synopsis. I haven't spoiled it for myself in any way. So that's a good thing. Um, but you know the big mystery of the game so far is that he, the, for the first half of his life, it's like everything he did, he did it with Faye, and for the second half, everything he did it was with Sophia, and we never see Faye again. Um, that so something must have happened that drove Faye away. Maybe things ended badly for them. Maybe she. Died. I don't know. I don't know yet. We're. I think. I suspect we're going to find out soon enough. But the point is, I'm st uh, watching the playthrough up to this point. I, uh, I'm getting the feeling that maybe things for the first half are not exactly uh, as they were presented to us. Uh, there were a few clues suggesting that he, uh, a lot of these memories are altered some way. Maybe. Uh, maybe just the way he wished them to be instead of what how they actually transpired. So the, the things, I'm just going to uh, keep playing and uh, try to explain it. Like uh, everything he did with Faye, which is his childhood up to his I don't know f initial flying days, they all seemed a little too good to be true. And he did say he daydreams a lot. Sometimes he mixes his daydreams with uh, reality. And one has to wonder if that's what he meant when he said uh, some things. When he commissioned for the job, he said things could, little things could be better. And indeed, everything, every regret we've uncovered are very little things, like messing up first dates, messing up the proposal with a spelled mistake, spelling mistake. I mean, these things are, Let's just say not of the greatest significance, because obviously the date still worked fine, the proposal still worked fine, they were married, it wasn't perfect, but it wasn't bad. So I'm just starting to wonder if a lot of these is his dissatisfaction with reality, but in truth, maybe he really sh should, shouldn't, doesn't really have that major regret like we did with Johnny and River. So uh, I'm starting to wonder if uh, everything he did with Faye was just his daydream. Maybe they did meet as childhood friends. Like in, in the previous memory he did say uh, he wanted to become a pilot because a friend of his went away. Far away so he wanted to find them again. And maybe he missed a bird. But even with the, but also I think maybe it means Faye in reality. Maybe she left very, very when they were young. Like, like Faye still seems a little controlled by her parents even when she grew up, and it, and she's uh, from a richer family. And it, it's not impossible, but I'm getting the feeling that it's not likely that they would be able to do all these things together do, throughout half his life without without her you know getting some kind of approval from her parents or even at least meeting them so that's a little suspicious well it's st still it's not impossible i'm just stating a likelihood these are all theory for all i know i could be completely wrong now these this is a little tricky we can only like move two of these things Wow, I have no idea what I'm doing. What? That was purely accidental, by the way. And even with the bird, something is not completely right. I mean, when he recounted the story of the bird to Faye, he did say that he tried to steal the bird back from the vet. 
but he did it and he thinks maybe the bird came back to say goodbye but he he's not sure because he's, he's not sure which is his daydream and which is reality i'm thinking maybe like older johnny maybe had a little bit of alzheimer's maybe just for wishful thinking has the same problem with his youthful life uh, I'm thinking maybe uh, this is with Sophia, so maybe a lot of the memories with Faye just didn't happen the way they did. And But there's also a lot of the mysteries about the mysterious figure that seems to have been stalking us throughout all the memories. Could that be Faye? Could that be... Was that a real thing or just a figment of his unstable memory system? Well, I guess we'll see. Let's push on. Hey, we're good to move on now. Go on then, I'll catch right up. Seriously? The... Well, I get jellyfish are beautiful, but... Well, that's that would be the first time we see Eva do something like that. Usually it's it's uh, Dr. Watts who's, who's a little bit liberate with his work. You sure are taking your time? Hey, no one's kicking me out. Good thing I got my hours in time, huh? You'd better have. It's gonna be a different world out there. You ready to go? Yeah, in a moment. You done with your jellyfish face? It's not a face, and yes. What's going on here? Not sure yet, but the plane sure looks desert but the place sure looks deserted. Yep, uh, nobody's here. What's going on? Wanna draw a plane? No one will be here to see it anyway. Why not? What happened to this place? Notice of airport closure. Hmm, I guess all things come to an end. An airport? They don't usually close airports. Unless there's a like there's a new one in town they have to demolish the older one that's possible but these things are expensive to come and go but that explains why nobody will be there to see their drawings These shelves sure look weird being empty, huh? This whole place does. You've always liked that picture, yes? Who's saying this, Faye? Oh. Oh, the, the mafia boss. I had them save it for you. Just a little something. You remember this place by... Thanks, boss. You've done good work for us, kid. Honest, respectful work. Oh, and I almost forgot. Your favorite plane's still here for one more day before we move her. If you want to give her one last flight before then, it's on the family. It's pretty cool of him. By the way, I like how Colin doesn't remember his face or anything, he just remembers the clothing. Alright, I guess we give the plane a final whirl. Oh, this place is open now. Or we go this way. Am I missing something with the door up there? So, what's the next step? There's a bird here. With the airport closing down and all? Sure. Well, there's the freight flying job I applied for. I did an interview with them the other day. I think I got a good chance at it. There's still a long way to go, but that'll help me build some more flight hours. Wow. To think that you've actually come so far. 
It feels like only yesterday we were still standing on the balcony. Thanks for giving me the kick I needed, by the way. Happy to have obliged. Hey, any progress with that lady from the orchestra? Sophia? Well, we've been talking, and... I don't know, I might try to ask her out on a date soon. But, well, you know how I am with this stuff. Want to help me prepare? Oh, I'm not sure if I'd be of much help with those sort of things. But if you want an advice, I'd say just to work on your... I'd say to just to work on making yourself more interesting, blah blah. Yeah, yeah, still a work in progress. Why aren't you two dating? We haven't been talking as often lately, you know. Sometimes, even when I'm here, you just do your own thing. That's another thing I noticed in the previous playthrough that he daydreams a lot. Even Sophia later said something like, uh, "When you're he now, when you're here, you're actually here." Before, sometimes he's just not mentally with them. I know. Sorry, it's just been so busy. The good kind, though, right? Seems to me like you've got it together. I. Hey, you gonna take up the flight the boss offered? Barry said that there's a grass strip near the hill we used to go to, right? Might be a good time to try a landing there. Yeah. You coming alone? Mm-hmm. Drifted apart. Okay. Calling the fate had drifted apart. Yeah, at this point a little bit. Why aren't you two dating? Come on. So... Do you think he was just really dense or plain not interested? It's odd how such a simple wish of being happy could be so tangled up. He sure didn't make it easy on us by being ambiguous with the details. Here, I got an idea. Received permanent marker? What are you... Oh. There! Now let's go get paid. You moron. You can't just draw him a smile like that. <laughs> Lips are red, not black. <laughs> Great job. Now he looks like an affectionate joker. We've almost burned through all the memories, haven't we? I guess. The vortex should be just up ahead. Good. Maybe that'll help us get to the source of what he wants. As if we don't know that already. Hmm? It's her, obviously. There's a reason she keeps on showing up. The guy's clearly got his childhood sweetheart on his mind and has to be asking what ifs. He wants her, but he's got principles so he knows he can't have her. The perfect equation for a sad, sad man who needs our help hacking the root of the problem. Are you suggesting to remove her? Well, if we do, you'd be the expert. But whatever happens, we'd have to change something. And in the end, she's the one we could alter the most anyhow. Colin himself said we should try to avoid changing things involving his family, right? And out of these memories, face the only other consistency that we keep coming back to. I guess you're right. We could start with her and work our way up from there. But something still doesn't add up. Hello? Who's this? Whoa. C could it be? Roxy? It's me, Roxy! I'm here! Oh. How's it going in there? <laughs> to wipe the, the smile. Um, awesomely, of course. How, uh, how are you doing? Did you bring the paperwork? Yep, I brought the paperwork all right. I also brought Rob. What? I can't stand that guy. I can hear you. Hi, Rob. Hey. 
Anyway, you guys want to come out real quick to get a paperwork down? We're kind of a we're kind of on a roll here. Maybe we should ask them to help us with the papers. Uh, by the way, Neil, I was gonna ask about the machine. I think I saw. I'm heading out. Get the forms ready for a fill-in. Wait, what? You know the protocols, Eva. Colin's our patient now, and one of us has to check the forms. Yeah, but we've let other people help before, and headquarters never cared. Maybe we should have cared, Eva. Maybe we should. Maybe we should have cared. Yeah, he's got to protect his secret. When were you one for protocol? So, for anybody who may not have seen the Minnesota for, uh, to, to do the moon, um, Neil here has a secret chamber in his office at the headquarters and in his office where he has a spare machine and he was going to use it in the Minnesota but he was interrupted so that that's the machine that Roxy most probably found out and was referring to what were you want for protocol anyway get that last memory link while I'm gone will ya I won't take long and call me when you're ready to go to the next memory I don't want to miss it hey Oh, I'm heading out with Neil. Oh, I'm I'm entering Act Two. You don't have to leave anymore. So let me get it straight. You took apart the whole machine because the maintenance department sucks, but. Look, it was the easiest way. Had I just left it to the company process, it would have never gotten done. Much like this paperwork. Oh my gosh, I just realized you're talking and writing at the same time. That's amazing, I hope I didn't cause you to make a mistake. I'm so sorry. You know, sometimes even I can't tell if you're being sarcastic, and that's saying a lot. Come to think of it, you actually remind me a bit of someone from this patient's memory. She's wacky and all over the place too. Oh, that I would have loved to meet her. I'm sure you would have. Too bad we, too bad we're gonna have to do something about her. Anyhow, whoosh, the paperwork's done and signed. Thanks for bringing the dogs, Rox. I'm gonna go check on Colin. Oh, you're just gonna get away like that? You might have fooled Eva and Rob, but did you think you could fool a fellow technician? I did a quick diagnostic earlier. Seems like you've done more than just removing the stabilizer. The machine you're using here isn't even your official Sigmund equipment, is it? Because your registered machine is back at headquarters, in your office. I don't know what you're up to, but I'm gonna find out. Hey Rob, how's the situation looking? Whoa, Roxy. It's fine. I was talking with the medical doctor and... What's with the murderous atmosphere? Ah, oh, Rob. You're tripping again. What, did you hear the music or something? No, I'm not, in fact, tripping again. Is everything going, is everything going okay in here? Swimmingly, Neil was just gonna go check on Colin. Yeah, I'm gonna go check on Colin. It's not suspicious at all. Hey, about earlier. Never mind that. How's progress with the patient? Just well. We've almost unlocked his entire timeline. Then we'll just send a signal and bam, another job well done. Sounds like you've got everything under control. You bet. Hey, look. I still think I owe you an, an explanation for what happened earlier. When I said I couldn't understand you, I swear it was only because I thought you weren't listening. Uh-huh, move along. Is that supposed to make him feel better, Neil? Just don't mess this case up. I had a strange feeling about it when I read the files. You're not the only one. The coat is so shiny, Neil. Did you get it dry cleaned? How can you switch tones like that without third-degree whiplash? Oh, I'm sorry. So yeah, about your machine. 
Yep, dry cleaning is just the best. <laughs> she does switch really fast, doesn't she? Oh, I want to go check out that book that's shiny over there. Oh, that's the photograph. Everything's about Sophia and Asher. Right. Huh. A whole lifetime of memories and we barely ran into any of these nice ones. That's true. Barely any of the happy memories captured here were seen during the memory traversal. You have to wonder if his early memories with Faye is as unreliable as I suspect. What is going to be the eventual victory condition for this, this little adventure? Taking a breather on? Paperwork mostly. How's he looking? Con is okay so far, but you guys sure are stirring things up in there. Stirring things up? What do you mean? It's his brain activity. It's been abnormally high for a sedated patient. Try not to aggravate him too much in there. W wait, what? But we haven't been doing anything different compared to any other patient. Hey, I'm only telling you what I see. Anyway, just try to keep it in mind. I'll continue to monitor his status. Is he? Like... Somehow altering his own memory by his own will? Huh, where'd your mother go? I think she went to the attic. Oh. Hey, may I talk to you in private for a moment? Uh, well, sure. Alright, come on. What's up? There's something I wanted to ask you. It's about my father's wish and what you saw in there. You know that's confidential, right? Yes, but... You must know what it's like being the family of a patient undergoing this procedure. To be honest, my mother was always against it, and I wasn't a big fan either. But if father were to take on a new life's worth of memories, well, knowing what and why would at least help me come to terms with it. So please, could you tell me? Mm. I should keep it confidential, but it's an understandable request. Well, I think we should tell him. I think it's unfair to keep keep things secretive, even though it's maybe against our, I don't know, professional ethicals. You know, your father actually wished for something completely unremarkable. He just asked to be happy, that's all. I guess he certainly isn't, huh? Well, you shouldn't look at it that way. People are always going to have cravings and longings for what-ifs. He's just curious about grass on the other side of the, of the fence, that's all. As humans are. I suppose so. But hey, he really did ask for you and your mother to stay as a part of his new life. Hope that helps for what it's worth. Thanks, Doc. Good luck with the rest of it. I hope something works out. We'll do what we can. I wonder if that was the right thing to do. Um, I would have phrased it better, actually. I would have said explicitly that he asked to retain his uh, life with his family as intact as possible. I think that would mean a lot. Uh, Sophia's in the attic. Let's go talk to her. She's gonna ask the same thing. I'm gonna have to... I should give Eva a call to see what's up in there. Okay. She's go she's not gonna hear me like this. I need to use the machine. But I wanna talk to Sophia. Maybe I should check in with Eva. What is going on?
Wait, wait, what did I do? External neural connections. One operates. Okay. Uh, let's see. View connection status. Just one operator. Established communication. Hey, Eva, do you hear me? Neil? Yup, how's it going in there? Just trying to find the last memory link. Still? There was only one left. Yeah, I just... I don't know, I've looked everywhere. But the scan shows there's one more here somewhere. I'm gonna find it. Are you done with the paperwork? Well, I just... Whoa. Neil, is your condition? Damn it. Where are my pills? Neil? I better not have left them in the car again. Hey, you still there? Sorry, I'm not finished with the paperwork yet. Uh, how long does it take to fill in the signs of papers? It's uh almost ready. I'll come back as soon as it's done. All right, just make it quick. It shouldn't take that long to get to the car and back. Oh boy. So we never know what condition he's under. We really don't know what pills he's taking. What are you guys doing? Why are you not back in there yet? Constipation. Looks like it. Go take a walk. <laughs> what do you mean looks like it? That doesn't look like work. It's Space Invader 12, the origin story. Relays. An origin story for the Space Invader? I might be interested. It turns out that they were mutant humans and we were the aliens all along. <gasps> no way. I'm gonna kill them all. So, you're just gonna hang around here? Yep. Oh, a lot of the stories are gonna come, come to the forefront after this one. I wonder how Colin's wife is holding up. Asher said that she went to the attic. Alright, let's go to the attic first. Oh, he's, she's with a journal. You're out early. Just needed to take care of some things. I'm heading back soon. That's good. Bring up Colin's memories. I do want to explore all the dialogue. We're done connecting most of the paths through Colin's memories, by the way. If you'd like, I could tell you about the things we found. I thought that would be considered confidential. Yeah, but you're his wife. I personally think you deserve to know. Thanks, but I'm okay. Aren't you at least a bit curious about the things we found? Sure, and there was a time when I'd have been dying to know every detail. But now, I don't think it matters much anymore. Perhaps you know some things I don't. Maybe it even changed my view of things. Still, even then, it'd just be another incomplete piece of reality. And after a lifetime where all is said and done, I feel like the best I could do is to simply stay with the reality I've come to peace with. There is, however, something I wanted to ask, only because I feel like it's meant for me. Did you find anything about why Colin put this book here? And like this? No, I was actually gonna ask you about it. He's had it for a long time now, but he kept on replacing his pages. And now, it's just filled with pieces of blank paper. If you find something about it that's meant for me, please do let me know. That's all I ask. Understood. I'll keep an eye out for it. How do you replace pages in the book? Hey, wait. Dr. Watts, right? I know I haven't been the most welcoming, and you probably know why by now. But I know you're just here to do your job. So, thank you for helping him. Oh, I knew you'd come around. Yeah, no hard feelings.
All right, let's go get whatever pills that we need. I wonder if we can knock on that door again. I we can. Oh, he does not want to talk. What is what is going on with you, Neil? Why are you taking pills? Best case scenario, he's just addicted to some painkillers or something. Worst case, well, there can always be worse. Hey, mister! What are you two kids doing? I knew you'd come back here. Oh, it's you again. Thanks for kicking Amber Stone into the pound for me. I really appreciate it. Uh, yeah. Is that your mother? <laughs> That's okay. I hope you traumatize that kid. She's been picking on my potato for years. It's time she learned her lesson. Dude. And now that I got an even smaller potato, I was really starting to worry about the future. What? You named your other kid Potato too? Of course not, don't be silly, it's just a nickname. Her, his real name is Spud. Oh, by the way, the front desk man said you're here to visit old man Colin. You know Colin? Yeah, he was literally beat up Amber for me. What? Wait, what? How literal? Like, I'm just... I'm going on the limbs to assume that Potato just doesn't know what literally literally means because that word is so freaking overused, but What? Did I use the word right, Ma? No dear, you mean figuratively. Oh thank god. Oh Oh But what else? So anyway, last week, Colin gave me his leftover jar of lemon juice. I haven't seen him since then, though. Could you please give it back to him? Wait, lemon juice? What for? To write spy messages, of course. Oh. It's invisible ink. I've already written two secret letters to Spot for when he can read good. Old man Colin said he was already doing- he was already done using it. So I could borrow the whole jar if I wanted. Oh. Huh, lucky me. Yeah, the <laughs> answer to a puzzle just came to us. So, could you give the jar back to Colin? Well, I don't think Colin needs it anymore. You could probably keep it. Wowie, thanks! I'm gonna write a letter to myself! Okay, Potato, it's time to head back home. Aw, alright. What could that be? Eva, are you calling me from the machine? Yeah, at least this function is still working normally. Hey listen, I think I might have figured out something about Colin's notebook. That's not important, right now I need you to check something for me. Uh, what? Bye! Uh, bye potato? Is everything going okay in there? Did you find the last memory link? No, are you at a computer? I can be. Good. Could you run a record search on Faye and check for any aviation accidents? Oh no. You think she was in a plane crash? I just want to rule the possibility of something out. I'll send you her extracted profile. There's enough data even without the last name. Let me know when you have the results. Okay. Wait, you gotta get your- It's not that far, Neo. We can make it. Hello? Hey, Rox. You're still at your laptop, right? Yep, yep. I just forwarded a profile to you. Mind helping me running a record check? Sure. Mind telling me what you're up to with the machine? Uh... Okie dokie, loki pokey, it's settled then. I'll call you back with the results. Oh, we should not be in getting ourselves increasingly indebted to a person who knows our deep dark secrets.
the front the front desk guy is gone. Where did he go? And what really is going on with you, Neil? I shudder to know. Wow, that was fast. Hey, Eva, I'm still working on the. Neil? Can you hear me? Uh, yes. Hello? Are you there? I'm right here. What is it? Neil, if you can hear me. Listen, I don't think she. Eva? Are you still there? Weird, the call must be malfunctioning. Is my little fury be going to be correct? I mean, why would she suspect that she's in a air avian accident unless she's suddenly gone? She suddenly can't be found, so... Hmm. I'll fix it as soon as I get back. Yeah, we gotta fix ourselves first. Well, as long as you are not taking beta blockers. Whoa. Hey, who's that? Wait a minute. Huh, that's a nice spike. Sure wish I had one like it. Really? Yeah, I mean, I mean, really. I mean, who would really be suspicious of something like that? Oh, come on. Eva, what happened earlier? No, it's Roxy, you silly potty. Oh. Uh, so how's the record search going? Oh, it's going just great. Actually, no, it's not great at all. Well, what Rob's saying is that it depends on your perspective. What? That's a yes or no question. Did she die in the plane crash or not? Well, it's complicated. So here's the great part. There's no plane crash to her record, so you won't have to worry about that. Sheesh, why didn't you just say so? A simple no would have sufficed. Well, that's not all though. The thing is, not only is there no plane crash, there's nothing else to her record either. In fact, there is no record of Faye. As in no record available to public domain? As in no record in existence? Anywhere. This is worse than I thought. We've checked the cumulative public record, the private ID network databases, even... Well, even a few places that we technically don't have access to. Still, there is no record of her for anything. No death, not even birth. Oh. Oh! So, unless Collins got some extreme form of distortive amnesia condition, he he doesn't. I checked. Yeah, so... Oh, sorry, I got another call. Hello? Dude. Hmm. I guess Collins a bit of imaginative girlfriend? I mean, Faye is the imaginative girlfriend. Act 3, even if it was just someone like me. 